Make new player content, they said. Your guides are for late game players, they said. We need more stuff for early game players, they said. Well, new players, this one's for you. Here is the most free to play friendly, low gear requirement way to farm Wyvern 13 that I can come up with. No, it's not a one shot. Heck, sometimes it doesn't even clear before the first barrier, but it's consistent and it's full auto. With background battling, this is a way for you to get speed and crit gear, the two most important sets in the game, especially at an early level. Even if you plan to play slow down the road, everybody still needs a decent pool of speed gear and crit gear to complete the PvE needed to take their account to the next level. So here's the team we're going to be using. I tried specifically to pick free-to-play units, in fact, mostly free units. You see, we've got Angelic Montmorency, who you can get from the connection system. And we also have Furious, who you can also get from the connection system once you hit continent number two. We also have Sigrid, who you can pick up for free from the hunt challenge. Well, free with a little bit of work. And then we have Mui, who is a three-star unit that hopefully you luck sack into pretty early on. Being a three-star unit means he's the easiest type of unit to secure from Covenant Summons and Banner Pulls. Once you've secured Mui, you're good to go. So first, let's take a look at Sigrid. You can build Sigrid on the free attack set that you get from the Hunt Challenge where you pick her up. This attack set has great substats specifically designed to build Sigrid for this hunt. The important stat points you want to hit is 65% effectiveness, as well as 135 or higher speed and 35% or higher crit chance. That's all the crit chance you need. The rest you pump into crit damage and attack. Crit damage more so than attack. You want to make sure that you MOLA all of her skills, her S1, her S2, and her S3. I know it's a lot of MOLA, but it's worth it. Pick it up. Her best in slot exclusive equipment early on is her number two EE, which gives you extra chance to proc bleeds. You see, debuffs are very important in Wyvern 13. We'll talk more about that in a bit. The best artifact you can run on her is Daydream Joker. This is a three star artifact, which makes it pretty easy to pull. It works at plus 15, but get it to plus 30 as quickly as possible. You see this artifact scales off of the health of the wyvern and the wyvern has a ton of health so the difference between plus 15 and plus 30 can be thousands of damage per hit now also please put boots on her i took her boots off just to show that even with this low of a stat line she is still functional i'm sure you'll be able to do something a little bit better in fact eventually you'll be able to build a stronger cigarette maybe on the destruction set from the nixie labyrinth Eventually you can get her on a rage set that doesn't even need effectiveness because now you can one-shot Wyvern. Now let's talk about Furious. Furious also needs 65% effectiveness minimum. More doesn't help, but you want at least 65. You want to make sure his S3 and his S2 are molded for effect chance and skill cooldowns. His S3 is a defense break, which is the most important debuff for our team, and with the EE it also gets a blind. As I said before, debuffs are very important. You want them to be fast to cycle his skills. I'd say 160 to 200 speed range. The rest you can pump into crit damage and attack. His number three EE is his best in slot for the chance to blind. And as for an artifact, you really want to run Song of Stars. I put him on a random artifact because Song of Stars is a 5 star artifact which you may not have, but the instant you pick up a Song of Stars you put it on him. Even at plus 15, it is by far and away the best artifact for him. But we're going to run him without Song of Stars just to show that this is still a functional build. Now the magic of the team is Mui. Mui has a passive where when the front line is attacked its CR pushes the whole team. Once again, we want 65% effectiveness on Mui, and you want him to be faster than the slowest unit. I'd say over 150 speed minimum. The faster the better. The rest you put into his attack and crit damage. Again, he only needs 35% crit chance. Make sure you skill up his S3 at very least for the effect chance, and his S1 as well. Eventually, plus 15 him for additional damage, it'll help make the run more consistent. I put him on Daydream Joker to give him a little bit of extra damage because when you get to the barrier phase, he can help Sigrid break down that barrier. Now the last unit on the team is our anchor, Angelica Montmorency, 
who you also get for free from the connections. You want to have her S3 and her S2 maxed out for the extra healing. She kinda needs to be level 60, so go ahead and use your spirit blooms on her. Give her as much effect resistance as you can while maintaining bulk. In a perfect world, 200% effect resistance makes her immune to the wyvern's pushback, but every little bit helps to keep her from being pushed back to help her cycle her healing. I also put her on Magahara's Tome, again to help cycle her healing, but you can run a variety of artifacts on her from Proof of Valor to Idol's Cheer, or even some of the solid 3-star artifacts like Envoy's Pipe for survivability, or Force Totem, or Grail of Blood to assist with healing keeping her alive. Other than that, we slap her on the free provided to you by the Hunt Challenge HP set, and you should be strong enough to survive all those Wyvern Blasts to the face. Lastly, pick up a Hunt Pet. The two most important skills to have on your Hunt Pet are the extra piece of equipment and the additional crafting mats. Lesser Charms and Reforge mats are a nice bonus, but these two are key for getting gear as quickly as possible. And that's why we farm Wyvern after all. Now let's go ahead and fire up the fight, press full auto, and see what happens. At the start of the fight, Furious gives a crit chance buff to the entire team, which is why you only need 35% crit chance. That's 50% from Furious, 15% from Elemental Advantage, so the 35% takes you to 100% crit chance. Montmorency heals up. You'll notice that when Montmorency gets hit, its CR pushes the whole team. Everybody starts chipping down and doing what damage they can. Now in a perfect world, you want to be tuned so that you reliably kill the snakes and enter the Wyvern phase with Furious's S3 ready to go. This allows you to maximize okay. damage on the Wyvern and potentially kill it before crocking the barrier. I went ahead and specifically chose this run because Furious's S3 is not going to be ready for the Wyvern. I wanted to show you guys the worst case scenario. So the Wyvern pushes up the team, Mui counters and applies a attack break. Furious wastes his turn doing nothing, Sigrid sticks a bleed, and that gives us our second debuff. If you have two or more debuffs, the Wyvern will only target the frontline unit. Now Furious can do his S3, gives everybody crit chance, and applies defense break, and oh, he got the blind off too, so that will help Momo survive. Now watch this hit from Sigrid. Bam! Almost 25% damage in one hit. Now if you have three or more debuffs on the Wyvern, the Wyvern does less damage when he hits Montmorency. Now, if we entered this round with Furious's S3 ready to go, we most certainly would have cleared before the shield phase. But again, I selected this scuffed run to show a worst case scenario where we do not clear and the Wyvern's barrier goes up. It was close. We've entered the barrier phase. Now all we need to do is stick the defense break from Furious. And this is why it's important to have a little bit of speed on Furious so he can cycle this skill. And it's important for Sigurd to have 135 speed as well. That's what allows her to lap and take this last turn and break the barrier. A lower speed Sigurd may not lap and may not break the barrier, resulting in a failed run. All decisions have consequences. And Furious gets the kill Fire. shot. Fire. Cower before the Normally you'll clear this before breaking the barrier, but this is about as bad as this run can go. So there you go, new players. Early game, you clear adventure. You work on Adventurer's Path, you complete your connections that you need, you get the hunt missions done, you collect your cigarette, and in all of that time, hopefully you pull Mui. Once that's done, you build this team and you start farming Wyvern and become a mid-game player. 
Now you have access to some of the best gear in the game, Wyvern 13 gear. You'll be shook how fast your account grows once you start farming this hunt, and as you become stronger with more gear, check out some of my other hunt videos. They'll show you how to do this in about 40 seconds with a one-shot team. Once you do that, you'll be able to join the ranks of late game players and really start milking Epic 7 for all it's worth. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it's helped some of you out. If you have questions, ask them in the comment section or join my Discord with the link in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great week, everybody.